Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. So I wanted to do a quick pickups video. Um, I picked up a few games. I picked up a couple of movies. So AmVets is a local uh, thrift shop that takes donations and uses the money to help veterans. <clears throat> they do a special usually on like Veterans Day, Memorial Day. Memorial Day obviously just passed. So they did half of everything in the store. I was there for a long time. The line was exceptionally long. And I just looked around with Beth for like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. And I ended up walking out with two movies. So normally the movies are three or five dollars, I think, depending on what you get. Usually like the box sets are five and the single movies are two ninety nine, I believe. So uh, the first movie I got is Automata on Blu-ray. This is uh, Antonio Banderas. Pretty sure this is on Netflix because it's been on my queue on and off for years. And I just never watched it. Um, this was really cool. This reminded me of something like Chappie in a way. Uh, with a robot that sort of has like feelings. Um, Antonio Banderas is like an insurance agent. And he's trying to figure out who's manipulating and like um, fixing these robots up. And the robots are sort of getting their own um, ideas of things to do. And, he, and it's cool. I don't want to like get too into it and ruin it. But I really like this film. I was pleasantly surprised, and for a dollar fifty, good deal. Um, the funny part is Dylan McDermott's in this, and he's a real like scumbag in this movie. And he also was in Richard Stanley's Hardware back in, I want to say it was the late '80s, maybe early '90s, and he was in that movie as well. And the robots look like these robots a little bit, so it was kind of. I wonder if they like did that on purpose, sort of like got some inspiration from Richard Stanley, but. The robots are sort of similar looking in a little bit of a way. And then Dylan McDermott's like, you know, fighting with the robots, which is sort of like the movie Hardware. So check this out if you haven't seen it. I'd say, you know, like I said, I think it's on Netflix. The other one I picked up for $1.50 was Alien Outpost on Blu-ray. This is an IFC Midnight release by Scream Factory, it says. I hadn't seen this. Uh, still haven't seen it. Beth really likes like post-apocalyptic dystopian movies, as do I. And uh, she likes aliens a lot, so figured we'd check this out for $1.50 if it stinks, you know, no big deal. GameStop had sent me a coupon for going there on Pro Day, and the coupon was buy two games used, get one free. So I picked up these three games. The first one is Wolfenstein, The New Order, and The Old Blood. Uh, I've beaten The New Order in the past. It was really good. I do want to revisit it, but I also have never played The New Blood, and it's pretty much almost the same price for the single disc version. Um, here it's about six bucks, I think. Uh, excuse me, six hours for this game, roughly. So I'll probably play through this next once I'm done with Bioshock 1, which is what I'm playing now. Uh, I also picked up Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. I was very hesitant on picking this up. I read a lot about the politics that went into the game in regards to the Easter eggs, the the verbiage used and the lines, the characters. I, I was turned off by a lot of stuff because I do not want politics in my entertainment. I'm sick of hearing it, seeing it. I don't care what side it comes from. I don't really want it in my video games. It's like the last place I want it. And um, I was really on the fence with getting this. They had a $35 version that brand new with a like G.I. Joe looking B.J. Blaskowitz. And then they have this one for like, I think it was 27 um, but the 10% off with the pro card and it was buy two, get one. So technically I'm not giving the company my money. It's going to GameStop. The company's not making money off a pre-owned game. So it made me feel a little better about it because I do want to play this because I like the Wolfenstein series. I just wish they didn't put politics into it. I just, with their advertising and, and some of the Easter eggs and like characters they put in, I just, I just, I'm sick of it. I really am sick of it. It's, it's, you know, I'm worn out on politics. So anyway, I look forward to playing this either way. Um, the other game I got, and this was the free one, was Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition. Um, this came with a code to play as Duke Nukem, but because it's the same company that made it, but the code didn't work. So the other day when I was in GameStop, I took a code out of another box, and it worked. Um, I played some of this one on the 360 years ago when it first came out. I enjoyed it. It's sort of like Duke Nukem, very vulgar, very tongue-in-cheek, but you have this like lasso that you can throw, like an electric lasso, and pull bad guys towards you and like punch them or shoot them and they explode. So it's got a little bit of a different feel to it. Um, 
but it's really cool, and I always wanted to play through it. And uh, yeah, I figured why not get the remastered version that looks better. And finally, I got this today from Amazon. This just arrived today. <clears throat> it's got bad reviews. Uh, the company who made it is called Phantom Studio. Excuse me, Phantom Studio 8 or Phantom 8 Studio, I think it is actually. And they seem to have put their heart into this. I'm pretty sure it's a company from, I want to say Germany. I could be wrong. Um, there's only eight of them, which I guess hence the name Phantom 8. And it looked interesting. You know, it looked like a creepy, interesting kind of thriller. So I picked it up for $9 on Amazon. Even if it's bad, I don't care. I want to support, you know, independent studios and small developers. And uh, that's past cure. Uh, the back of it says it's a supernatural thriller with action and stealth elements, and you get psychic abilities. Really, really brief back with not much explanation. So it looks sort of like Max Payne, has some stealth elements from what I've seen, has some sort of creepy Silent Hill looking stages. So I wanted to check this out. If it's bad, it was only $9, and I supported a small teams project. Um, hopefully they put out more projects in the future, because from what I've seen for eight for eight people to make this, it was pretty impressive, um, even though it wasn't completely up to snuff with, let's say, something like one of these games or The Witcher or something that's, you know, really high detailed. So, yeah, that's all the stuff I picked up. I look forward to playing some of these shooters soon. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm playing through Bioshock, so I'm enjoying that. And I just beat State of Decay 2. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.